Hey folks, it's Tuesday and I'm still filling up showcases and unpacking, etc. Um, this is update 45. Um, yeah, it's taken a long time to get here to this point. Um, still got a long ways to go with uh, setting up, but uh, getting there. You can see I've emptied this showcase out of some stuff. I'm getting ready to get some shelf brackets if I can find any that are that size. Hopefully. I know I had some at the old place, but uh, left them all behind, unfortunately. So, I'm hoping I've got some here. And I'm filling up this case. Uh, you can see a lot of the small town china wares, all the souvenir china from uh, mainly Manitoba, but uh, a little bit of Saskatchewan as well. Um, yeah, I've got quite a bit of it. This uh, was my own collection uh, and decided uh, to part with all of it with the exception of Matt. Oh, uh, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> with the exception of Verdon and Oak Lake uh, related items going to scale back my collection to just that and uh, liquidate the uh, other small town stuff. Still like the stuff, I'll still pick it up when I see it, but uh, I'm going to uh, just sell it now. And uh, a lot of advertising and such that I'm liquidating from my own collection. I've got a lot of paperweights, a great uh, El Prado cigar uh, match striker from Erzinger tobacco in Winnipeg. Uh, there's a great uh, antiquitary Old Scotch whiskey um, match striker, or not match striker, match holder. You can see there, uh, there's a really neat Perrier, 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 sorry, Perrier uh, tip tray with kind of a pinup girl on it. Really cool. Uh, there's some other really neat uh, there's another Erzinger piece back there, a brass uh, ashtray, and there's a club tobacco uh, tip tray as well, or ashtray. Um, they're both out of Winnipeg. Uh, two very scarce pieces. Uh, I've got them priced actually pretty reasonably considering their scarcity. But uh, pricing stuff to sell, so... Anyway, um, I've got uh, my clips here as well that I used to collect uh, a lot of advertising clips, bill clips you just don't see them that often and I've got a nice little collection here of them and uh, that's kind of been it um, the paint painter did uh, get the back walls done uh, you can see just through the doorway there the back wall has been primed so she's getting that done I uh, unpacked quite a number of books over here as well. Uh, there's still lots to go though. Um, there's, uh, as you can see, they're going to be overwhelming the shelves pretty soon. Got a couple empty shelves, but uh, three, four more boxes and they'll be full as well. Uh, so there's all kinds of history, a lot of Canadian history, a lot of prairie history. There's a pretty good mix of stuff. This is all military right here on this top shelf. So some neat military right there. Uh, like I said, a lot of Canadian history and uh, various um, other interesting books. Um, yeah, uh, there's tons. Uh, and on the bottom, there's a lot of area histories. There will be lots more added to that as well. And uh, this shelf here is just the beginnings of the liquidation of my uh, reference book price guide collection. Um, there's going to be oh, several shelves of those coming out. Um, a lot of some books that you can't get anymore, so uh, I just don't have the space for them anymore and uh, time for them to go. So my loss is your gain. Just uh, ch come check them out. And uh, yeah, so that's been about it. Um, 
This is update 45 and I'm going to add a little more to this as well tomorrow on Wednesday. Uh, I'll be coming here hopefully to um, set up some more. So hang on for a second and uh, you'll see the rest of the video. Still update 45 and I just thought I'd show you what I'm dealing with box wise. This is one of the offices that's full. Um, this is supposed to be my uh, packing and shipping area and research area and as you can see it's jammed with boxes up uh, all the way around the corners and stuff too and anyway got a few kicking around the hallway of course and then this room is also full um, I've just been going through boxes as you can see uh, they're open quite a bit or quite a few of them are open um, I've got an order for a customer um, on Etsy and I can't find the item so I'm kind of going crazy looking for the uh, the item and it's a small thing and it's in one of these boxes somewhere I like looking for a needle in a haystack of course um, and there's other boxes here as well, right here, another room full of boxes and such. Uh, I've got to put all this into the shop space somehow too, um, as well as stuff in here too. So yeah, we've got lots of, uh, <laughs> lots of boxes to unpack and it's kind of overwhelming. So, um... Yeah, that's kind of what I'm dealing with. Uh, today I haven't done a whole lot. Well, I've done a lot actually, but it doesn't look like it. I've just made a bit of a more of a mess in here, unpacked a few boxes um, here and there, and hauled more boxes out. Uh, but I uh, haven't been setting up too much, just uh, kind of cluttering up the space a bit. As you can see, surfaces that are clear or were clear are no longer clear. Uh, I've got stuff stacked on showcases and the like and uh, got to clear those off. So yeah there's tons to do and uh, just not enough space to do do the work in. So really I got to get the back area cleared um, which is going to be difficult. Catch 22 here with uh, that I have to make money to get that back clear and to make money I've got to fill this up and I can't fill this up because it's just too small so yeah I'm kind of uh, at a loss doing what I can but uh, today I'm just uh, feel like I'm spinning my wheels a bit especially because I can't find that piece for the uh, customer but I'm looking and uh, I'm going through a couple other boxes right now um, looking for stuff that I can quickly flip over but uh, yeah that's kind of where it sits at the moment I'll add more to this uh, which you'll see in a few seconds so I ended up getting some more stuff done uh, cleaned out this showcase it was absolutely filthy so uh, there was a ton of dust in there Washed it out, cleaned it, uh, found some shelf brackets, and uh, cleaned two of the shelves, put two of the shelves in, or the two shelves in, and uh, started loading it up. So there's a few bits and pieces here, including some transportation collectibles, uh, some TCA China, um, steamship, and uh, some CPR China, and uh, other cutlery as well. Um, and got some bobbin heads and um, a character jug, a rather scarce book with a jigsaw puzzle with it called the Jigsaw Puzzle Murder. Uh, asking 120 for it, and probably will go down a bit on it too if you're interested. Uh, I've got a nice piece of white carnival, a scarce pattern as well. Um, and some, uh, um, oh my god, I've forgotten what it's called. 
<laughs> um, Majolica. <laughs> Back in the corner there. Uh, we've got a set of 10 plates. Uh, it's 700 for the set. Uh, there's still room to make money there if you're into that sort of uh, China wares. It's not uh, my sort of thing, so I've got it priced uh, a lot lower than what they sell for. Uh, per plate. I think they're about a hundred and a quarter per plate and I've got them at about 70 bucks per plate and they're all in uh, excellent condition as well. Uh, I've got a piece of Dalton um, advertising Brown and Paulson's Paisley Flower. I've got a, a scarce um, piece of uh, <clears throat> of uh, Iris and Herringbone. It's uh, Demitas Demitas saucer at uh, 150, and it's a if you know your depression glass, that's a scarce piece. Generally, I don't carry a lot of depression glass, um, but I pick up the rare pieces when I do see them. Anyway, um, yeah. So there's more stuff coming out. Uh, put a few more books out, and uh, yeah, still tons to go. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, definitely uh, filling up fast. Got to get uh, a ton more stuff out, too. Anyway, uh, I guess tomorrow I'll probably start putting out a lot of the uh, uh, architectural s stuff, uh, light fixtures and uh, hardware and the like. Got to get it set up because it's looking pretty messy. So... Anyway, happy picking, safe picking, take care.